Go to the tools panel of Photoshop, select the rectangular marquee tool. Create a very, very thin selection there from top to bottom. Then go to the gradient tool and then go for this one, white to black. That's the first of the gradients. Select that. Go with blending mode, normal, linear. I'm going to go from bottom to top, hold the shift down so you get a nice linear black at the top, white at the bottom. Go to edit and define pattern. Stores it as a pattern preset. Click OK. I'm just going to deselect it now. Go to edit and then fill. I'm going to use contents pattern. I'm also going to go for the custom pattern. I'm going to select the one I've just created. There's the pattern preset. And also make certain script random fill is on. Click OK. Now you can see the pattern there. It doesn't end up like that. It's a very small part of it actually. So density there, 10. Factor 1, 1. Also no rotate and also 0.85, etc. for the color randomness. Click OK and you can see the end result there. However, you can also blur it as well. So filter, go down to blur and motion blur. Go for 90 degrees, so it's obviously straight down and distance, say like 300. Click OK. And you might think, you know what, let's play a game. So motion blur, play a couple of times. Perfectly reasonable. You can of course tweak the color. You can always go to image, maybe go for adjustments and levels. So you can brighten it up a bit, something like that. Click OK. And also you can apply other filters. Go to filter, maybe go down to distort and maybe wave. So you can create a nice wavy design. Go with repeat edge pixels, number of generators one, wavelengths, go to one, one, five, six, etc. And you can just vary them. Obviously you can vary the settings and you can also randomize if you want. Click OK, and you can create all kinds of wavy designs like that very quickly. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.